I said, Mother, 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 there's too many of you crying. Oh, but brother, 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 but too many of you dying. But you know we've got to find a way. I first realized music was something I wanted to do when I was 23 years old. And I saw a fabulous singer at the Big Easy, a guy by the name of Nigel Hall, sing. I used to go down and watch him every Tuesday night and was completely floored by him and, and all the other musicians in Portland that are just phenomenal. He wasn't the only one. My dad was a musician. Um, my uncle Phil. I mean, music has been around me for a long time. But when you hit a certain age that you can't play basketball anymore, then you got to look to kind of do something that you're passionate about. And I had a little bit of ability to do it, so I just practiced, you know. I just loved it. Oh, it's got to be now. More wrinkles in face. Then we say now holding on is what we got. Pick up the telephone, just let me hear your song. Now holding on is what we got. When I write a song, I'll I'll usually start playing the guitar quite a bit, come up with different progressions, different keys that I like to sing in, and try and put melodies to it. And I, as I've gotten older, it's, it's been a lot harder because you get, you get real picky. At first it was easy, it was like, oh, this sounds cool, that's, that's a song, you know? Uh, but as you kind of get older and you listen to a lot more music, you go see other music, and you just kind of evolve as a person, you kind of grow up, it's just... You kind of, uh, it becomes more personal to you and you get, you get picky, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at now. I used to play uh, with like a seven piece band and that's from um, when I first started playing, I got together with some friends through friends and put together a band and we came out with like two albums in probably five years. So that was pretty exciting. Uh, these days, it was back then. It was hard to keep. It's hard to keep the band um, together. Uh, Portland's a very incestual music scene, which is a good thing. But um, kind of got to the point where the band was just like time to take a break. And it's been a long break, but you know, maybe we'll get back together. Who knows? Cross my mind and guess I see you in the afternoon because holding on. As I go forward with music, it's honestly, it's, it's kind of like when I was a kid when I wanted to play sports. I'd, I'd practice and practice and practice and try different things, and it's a lot of the same evolution when it comes to music. You know, I've, I've been playing the guitar for a while, I, I played some piano for a while, which was nice, so that kind of can mix it up and it gets, you know, keeps you fresh and, you know, creative and, and all that. Um, I just bought a djembe drum, a hand drum, so that'll, that'll be interesting to kind of, you know, get some YouTube lessons on how to play a benje, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know where, I mean, I'd like to do a solo record with some of my favorite players um, of, a, of original music and kind of see where that, that lands, you know? I don't think I'll ever stop playing music, you know? It's, it's kind of a, it gives me great balance because during the day I'm, I work with kids and teach and um, at night it's, you know, I get to gig or I get to go home and play my guitar and, and write. And I get to learn new tunes, you know? Um, so I got kind of a good rhythm going now with kind of gigging on Friday and Saturday nights and working during the week and you know, having the summers just to gig, you know, it's just, it's great balance. And I've learned that that's really important for me 
Probably a lot of people to have that kind of balance in your life.